My Netherland Dwarfs are coming up on five months old, so I thought I would give some veggies a try. Um, I did it with my two girls the other day and they loved it. This is my Buck Lark and I haven't given him any yet, so we're going to try it today. Just gave him his pellets and I'm going to clean cages and we'll see if he eats it. This is my doe uh, velvet. She's my black Netherland dwarf doe. And same thing, I'm gonna see if she kinda goes at it on her own. She was the one out of the two that was mainly interested the other day, so I guess we'll see. Okay, and here's Miss Blueberry. Gave her her veggies. I'm gonna give a clean out to everybody today and hope that they eat them. She's so stinking adorable. Look at her little face. And I have made a <laughs> made one for veggies. Okay, guys. I have made a bigger cage for um, my trio here because the other one I had obviously was way too small. So. I just added a bunch of panels that I had together, or grids, and made them a bigger cage. So, I know that they're on the cement, but right now, I'm having a lot of issues with my neck. And I can't bend over uh, twice a day, every day, with two different, basically three different cages, and, you know, clean fleece. It just was becoming too much for my neck, and I couldn't sleep at night, I couldn't turn it to, like, look and talk to people, so, um... Once I get them, once I can figure out a better way and get them up off the floor um, that I don't have to bend over like that, then I'll be able to do the fleece again. Um, but right now in the summertime, this, in my opinion, would be cooler. And I still give them, um, you know, like the hot fleece hideys and stuff to cuddle in. So that is their new cage. Okay, so same thing with these guys. I took out the fleece for now. And they took out all the dividers and all the chloroplast. So their cage is way bigger, um, which I actually like a lot better. And I put in some wooden huts, some fleece huts. Um, I put big piles of hay for today in their veggies. So they are a bunch of happy piggies. And I always have a fan blowing on them as well. <laughs> My messy girl. cleaned out now and happy 
<laughs> Everybody's enjoying their hay. Molly is snoozing in her favorite place ever. She loves this cuddle cup. It's so adorable. I need to wash it and I feel bad to take it just to wash it because she loves sleeping in it so much. I put the two girlies outside while I was cleaning their cage. So now their cage is all clean. And same with Philippe there. I put, I put him outside so that I could clean his cage. So we have nice clean cages, fresh water, a nice full hay bag. So these are blueberry and velvet's cages. And then here's Philippe's nice clean cage with a fresh hay bag. And Mr. Lark in there got a fresh cage. And then I'm going to switch them and put him outside and bring the girls in. And then bring Philippe in and let my other three girls out. I try to get them at least a good four or five hours a day, if not more, from around more. How can you not love guinea pigs? They are so freaking adorable. <laughs> they don't even have to try to be cute, and they are. Just pick some grass for everybody. Although you would never know it because they're all <laughs> crowded around. I put another pile over there and Shine's the only one paying attention to it. They're so freaking adorable. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they're waiting their grass. <laughs> there you go, guys. Enjoy! I'm guessing Stewie's in the tunnel here, because he's not in the hut over there. They are so pretty. I love their colors. They have such pretty colors to them. Come on, Stewie. I see you peeking. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what's going on. Potter decided to join Shine in the other pile of grass. I got a little bit too many roots in that one, but that's okay. Okay, can't forget my pretty girls. Hey guys. They love their grass. They are a huge fan of their grass. Okay, and we'll get in here with Peter and Pepper. Give them their grass. Hey guys, watch out. Here we go. I'm trying this new water bottle with them. It's one of the Lixit ones, and they like will not use it. I don't know why. So I might have to switch them back because it's been like over a day. It's probably been about 30 hours since I switched it and they want no parts of it. So, I mean, I shouldn't say no parts. They've drank about a quarter of it, but in a day and a half, that's obviously not a lot. So, because I'm used to them drinking a whole, like one of these type of water, water bottles in a day. So, okay, so I've never tried any um, grass with Lark here. So, or my two girls, Velvet or Blueberry. So we're going to try some today. I'm just going to give him a little handful and see what he thinks about it. He ate all his veggies yesterday, so they're about five months old now, so I feel like they're old enough to kind of start on some greens of some kind, so we'll see, I guess. Okay, and same with blueberry and velvet. I haven't really ever given them grass before either, so we'll see if they come check it out. <laughs> like I said, they all ate um, all their veggies the other day, though, so I'm not really that worried about it. 
I think they'll come check it out and eat it. And then Philippe. Philippe's kind of hit or miss with grass. So I'm going to leave him a little pile of it. And we'll see if he eats it. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. So we shall see. He's a good boy. You gonna come check it out? It's like, hmm. Come on, bud. Sleep. Your chin and everything. There we go. You gonna eat some? Oh, we're gonna dig in it. <laughs> I think he just sprayed everywhere. Okay guys, so that is actually it. Um, I will, as promised, have a vlog of my um, clinic tomorrow at the barn. It's a trick riding and Roman riding clinic, so that I am planning on going to and watching. And I will record and vlog. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye!